God bless you. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Landmark Church of Holiness through Christ Outreach Ministry, located at 1523 West Washington Street in South Bend, Indiana, where we preach the gospel without compromise, the unadulterated, unmixed, true gospel of deliverance, reaching out to a dying world, letting you know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Set your heart, your mind, your ears to receive this man of God who will show you the way to eternal life. Receive ye him, our pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr. God bless you. We also have a Sunday School Conference call every Saturday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, taught by Evangelist Beverly Willis. The telephone number is 605-313-5142, and the access code is 388-999-POUND. If you're not able to tune in, you can listen to the playback number, which is 605-313-5153, with the same access code. If your carrier charges for this line, please hang up and dial 716 716- Two nine three nine seven two zero. Then dial the number and the access code. We are so happy to be able to share what God has put in our hearts and mind that you may be able to be blessed of God and strengthened in holiness. Now we will have prayer rendered by Evangelist Beverly Willis. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for another opportunity to be in your presence, O oh God, to worship you in spirit and in truth. We appreciate all the many blessings you've bestowed upon us. We ask that you bless in this service on today, God, in the name of Jesus. Move by your power and your spirit, O oh God. Word the speaker's mouth, God. Anoint his words, O oh God. Let your word go forth, O oh God, and accomplish what you will, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bless those that may be sick and afflicted, O oh God. Heal their bodies, O oh God. Save souls in the name of Jesus. And we'll give you all the glory, honor, and praise for all that you do for us. In Jesus' name, thank you, God. Amen. 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 And now we will have scripture offered up by Sister Tierra Frazier. Amen. I'll be reading for your hearing, Revelations 21 and 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there should be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Again, that's Revelations 21 and 4. May God bless the reading of his holy word. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. And now we will have... Words of truth coming from our own pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis. Let's say amen for him as he comes. Yes, isn't God good? Yeah, isn't God good? Yeah, yeah. If he's good to you, amen, say amen. Yeah, amen. He has been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Amen. And there's nothing like glorifying and magnifying God. Amen. For all the things he has done for us. Amen. Not only collectively, but individually. Amen. God takes care of us. Amen. Amen. And God knows what we have in need of even before we ask. Am I right about it? Amen. He knows how, amen, to supply our every need. I mean, according to his riches and glory. And God never falls short of what he's got to do. Amen. When he comes down, amen, to taking care of his people. Am I right about it? Amen. I love him. I love him. I, I don't mind telling people that I love God. Amen. It's so easy for you to say, I love my sister. I love this one. I'm a, but do you really love God? Amen. And the proof is keeping God's commandments. Amen. That's how you prove, amen, to the world and to God that you love him. Because see, with the mouth, people draw down to God, but their hearts are far from God. All through the week, they're hellraisers. 
And then when they come down to Sunday, Sunday afternoons, church service, amen, they so pious, like they ain't did anything wrong. Amen. But the eyes of the Lord is in every place, beholding the good and the evil. Amen. It's being recorded. It's being recorded. Everything you do is recorded. It do not get past God. It do not get past God. It might get past me, but it ain't getting past God. Amen. Amen. And tell you the truth, I don't count. Amen. To God, that's what counts. What God think about you, that's what counts. Amen, amen, amen. To God be the glory. God bless everyone, amen, that is on Facebook, amen, YouTube, amen. We just want to say thank you for, amen, for viewing into us, amen, every Sunday, amen. Just waiting on him from the word of God, amen. The scripture says, he that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Do you hear what I'm saying? There are some people out there that want the truth. Jesus said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall what? Make you free. That's if you want to be free. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Yeah, y'all know I believe in having church. Amen, amen. I don't believe in having a dead service. Amen. You know why? Because, you know, when we was out there, amen, at the baseball games and the basketball games and, and whatever, we were hollering and screaming, amen, even on the dance floor. Hey, hey, now, you was loud. You didn't care who heard you. Get in church, you can't holler hear you. Devil is a lie. The Bible said, make a joy for, oh, 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 make a joy for noise unto the Lord. Joyful, no, what you have? I ain't, I ain't, you know, you got, you know what? I don't care what you're going through. Do you hear what I'm saying? Don't let that, don't let the devil steal your joy. Do you hear what I'm saying? Don't let the devil steal your peace. Yeah, man, because you could, amen, with joy, with joy and water out of the well of salvation. Do you hear what I'm saying? God wants you to keep that joy. God wants you to keep that joy. Oh, y'all better come over with me now. Yeah, I'm just telling you, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Amen. It's holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Amen. I get excited about God. I don't know, I don't know about y'all, you know. I ain't bored. When it comes down to God, I ain't bored. I might be bored for, with about some people. Amen. But I'm never bored with God. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. He's keeping me alive. He's keeping me alive. He's all over me and he's keeping me alive. <laughs> oh, amen. Amen. I'm just, I'm just excited about God. One more time that God has allowed us to come into the house of God to worship him in spirit and in truth. That's what it's all about, y'all. In truth, not in a lie. Not pretending like you say. Not pretending that you're a Christian. You, but you are a Christian, if you want to use the word. And a Christian means what? Christ-like. That means you live in the way Christ lived. When he was down here on earth, he wasn't a hypocrite. Come on now, he wasn't pretending to be something else. And then when he got home, he was doing something else. Hey, y'all better come on with me now. Yeah, he wasn't tip. Jesus wasn't tipping and dipping, no, slipping and sliding. No. Y'all better come on with me now. Hey, man, amen, amen. He, there wasn't no shame in his game. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. He became, he came that you might have life and that more abundantly. People got mad at him because he told the truth, but he still told the truth. Hey. <laughs> Hey, but I got a little something, something for you. You know, I always have try to have a little something, something for you. Hey, man, I don't know whether you don't like it, but you know what? That's between you and God. Amen. Hey, man, but I got to take care of my responsibility. Amen. And that's to preach and teach God's word. Hey, man, how many of y'all love the word? Amen. Come on now, do you really love the word? Hey, man, when you, when you really love the word, you say amen sometimes. I even sometimes see the expressions of people clapping on face, got them hands, amen, because somewhere, what, what we said, amen, they, whoo, thank God. Some people are getting delivered. Some people are being encouraged. Some people are getting mad. 
Hey, so that's all part of the, you know, of the ministry. You know, that's what's going to happen. If you don't want people getting mad at you, preachers, don't preach. Well, I shouldn't tell you don't preach. You, but you got to keep on preaching anyway. But I got a little something for you. I woke up one day. And I said, God, I ain't got anything yet for the people of God. And I said, I need a little something so I can build up on it during, the, you know, for Sunday. And, you know, sometimes God will give you certain things at the last moment. <laughs> at the la and you got to get it together for the last moment. But that's the way God works with me sometimes. Sometimes he'll give it to you ahead of time. And sometimes he'll get it, give it to you when you get up here. Yes, <laughs> he'll lead you and guide you. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes, there have been times I didn't have nothing, but God had something. Right. Amen. But my subject tonight, or this afternoon, or however when you be listening to this streaming live. Amen. My question is, what's the point? What's the point? I'm trying to give you something to think about. Everything you do, everything you say, everything that you want to do, amen, amen, when it comes down to God and your life, and you decide you want to do a certain thing, a certain way, so what, what's the point? Why are you doing it? What is your purpose of doing what you're doing? Oh, y'all better come on now. What's the point? Because people have so many plans and ideas concerning, amen, what they want to do and how they want to do it, regardless of what God wants you to do, amen. But the, they, my question is to you, what's the point? Amen. amen. When I looked that up, it says, point is an end or object to be achieved. What are you trying to get to? When it comes down, come down to salvation, you know, What's the point of, doing, of you doing not doing what God tell you to do right. or live the way God tell you to do? Amen. What's the point of doing that when you know you're going to hell? Right. What's the point? Do you hear what I'm saying? What's the point? Why are you choosing sin over God? What's the point? God is the one that's keeping you alive. God is mercy is out there reaching out to you. And you don't want it. What's the point? What's the purpose of that? Yes. Come on now. The Bible even told us it's appointed once for a man to die. Yes. So you know you're going to die one day. So you know what? You know people say, well, I want to have my pleasure now. What's the point? What is it going to do to you or for you after you die? Right. What's the point? That's, I'm trying to give you something to think about. Yes. Having fun and pleasure in the world. What's the point? Yes. Yeah, you go have go ahead in your mirth. Go ahead and doing what you're going to do. But what's the point? What you trying to accomplish in life? A lot of times people be trying to accomplish things and never accomplish amen, what they started out to accomplish. So what's the point? Why choosing friends and families and yet yeah, your own life right. over God? What's the point? What made you come to that decision that you'd rather go to hell than to serve God? Or that God will be okay with it. Somebody better come and talk to me now. What would you profit about? What will you profit? Amen. From going to the devil or living for the devil. What what what, what would you profit besides the worldly stuff? The worldly pleasure. I'm not gonna tell you that it, out there there's, there's no worldly pleasure. But you can't get caught up in all that stuff, especially those simple things in life. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. We got to have a point while we're doing. You know why I'm living saved? Because I want to go to heaven. You want to know why I gave up sin? It's because I want to go to heaven. That's the point. What's the point? I want to go to heaven. So why don't you want God? What's the point? Amen. What's the point? What? What's the point? Come yes. on. Talk to me. Say talk it. to me say now. It. Some people say, well, you know, I, I, I don't know what the, some people don't even know why they make decisions. Right. They just make a decision based on how they feel. Amen. Or what they think. What's the point? Amen. Come on now. Come on with me. Amen. Now. It said point is an end or object to be achieved. What's the purpose? Yes. What is the purpose of you doing what you're doing? What's, what's the purpose of you stealing? What's the purpose of your lying? What's what the purpose of you fornicating? What's the purpose of 
Come, come on. on now. What's what's the purpose of you cheating? Where is where that's gonna get you? Some of it, some of y'all that got you in jail. Amen. Amen. I mean, what was Say the purpose? Why you why you choose that? Right. Why you choose that kind of life? Why you choose that kind of sinful life? Amen. I mean, what is going to get you in God? Yeah, say it, say it. Amen. It's going to put you in heaven. What's the point if, it, right. if it's to no avail? Come on now. Hallelujah. If Amen. it's to no avail, it don't make sense to do it. That's right. If That's you're not right. going to profit by it, there ain't no sense of doing it. Right. Amen. People say, well, I'm profiting. I mean, I'm gaining. I'm getting rich. And I'm getting this. And I'm getting that. Amen. What profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What's the all point? All right. All right. Amen. So what? You didn't gain riches. So what? You didn't gain yes. glory. So what if you gain so this? What? Amen. But what do it profit you if right. you die and go to hell? Amen. Amen. Say it, say it, say it. Well, what shall it profit a man shall, if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Yes, Are you yes. thinking about your own soul? There's a life after death? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Amen. And those of you that are thinking about turning from God, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. What's the point? The devil on, can't choose you. The devil can't treat you better than God. Say it now. So come why on, you want to go to somebody that's going to kill you, fool? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Y'all better come on with me now. Right, I'm serious. Right. Amen. That's foolish. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, at least out there I can do what I want to do. So you willing to go to hell? My God. You willing to be lost? All right. What's all the right. point? The what's Bible said the they'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Come on, come and on. And this is eternally. So what's yes, the point, it amen, of having a good time down here if it's not going to profit you, amen, when you die? Come on now. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Glory what's to the God. Point? What's the point, evangelist? What's the point? Amen, amen. Devil won't let you see. No, he won't. No further sometimes than your nose. Come on. Because your flesh, your earthly flesh is got you and pushing you, amen. You ain't got to go through this. And you ain't got to take all that. Come on. And you ain't got to live all that. And you ain't got to. Yes, you do if you want to go to heaven. Right, if you want to live. Say it. Sometimes say it. people think this worldly life is life. Yes. But this is life as you see it now. Amen. But you got to look, you got to give an account to one who is able to take your life. Right. Amen. You got to stand before God. Don't yes. backslide because of your friends and Come your family now. and whatnot. What's the point? What's the point? Amen. They doing what they want to do. All right. All right. Now. And if they want to do, they, they want to do it bad enough. I don't care what you say. They going to do what they want to do regardless. All right. But here you are now. You are, you getting all sad and, and down, beaten down and because they don't want to be around you right. and all right. that sort of Come stuff. On. Amen. But now you, you kind of miss them. And what's the point? They doing what they want to do. All right, now. All right. All right, sir. Hey, you're going to go to hell. You're going to go to hell by yourself. See? Not with me. I ain't going Amen. with you. Amen. Y'all better come on now. Amen. <laughs> Again, I said point. An end or object to be achieved. What you trying to reach? What's your goal? Holy God. Come on. Are you trying to reach eternal life, which is greater? All right. Are you just trying to reach riches and pleasure and, and, and prestige? Say it. Which ain't going to get, get you nowhere with God. Amen. Amen. It ain't going to get you anywhere with God. Because God is angry with the wicked every day. Every day. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. And if you stop praying, and if you stop, amen, uh, living for God, the things that you used to do when you was when you was living for God, God forgets all that. All right, now. So what's the point? You think hey, he's still going to remember? Go to Ezekiel to tell you what happens hey, if a man on, turn man. from his weak, from his righteousness yeah. and do that which is wicked. The righteous thing he did will not be remembered. Right, amen, so amen. what's the point? What's the point? What's the point? Amen. Say it. Say you, it. You, you gotta you gotta question yourself. Why am I doing this? Why? This, uh, I don't know, everybody else doing. You going to hell because everybody else going to hell? All right now. Come on now. I thought you was your own man. Hey. I thought you was your own woman. Come on. I thought you make your decisions on your own. All right. You got other people leading you and guiding you right. by the nose. Right. Girl, if it wasn't for me, if, if it was me, you that's, that's the point. You ain't me. Hey, and I ain't you. See? That's what you chose to do. Uh, come on. But I chose to live holy. Yeah. Yes, Sanctified, yes, undefiled. Amen, amen. Come on, man. Hey, Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> some people do it. Some things people choose to do. It don't even make sense. Glory, amen. You ask me why amen. you did, why you do that. You know what? Come to think of it, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just felt like doing it. 
You know, I, you oh know, I just God. felt it, and at the time, I did it. Amen. Didn't even think about the consequences. Amen. Of what you're doing is wrong. Right. Can Come send on. you to hell. Not only that, it can put you in jail. It can put you, put you, you know what, in a bad situation. Right. Now right. you in it. Amen. Then it's amazing how people, when they get in trouble and when they're on their sick bed and deathbed, then they want to call on God. All right, all right. Can I ask you the point? Can I ask you this? What's the point? All right. Why are you calling on God now? What's the point? You didn't want him when he, at first. You didn't want to be bothered with God. You didn't want to be in nobody's church. I don't want to go to nobody's church. I ain't going to no sanctified church. Ain't no more holy rollers. Talk about us like a dog. But when you get sick, who do you call on? All right, all right. The real saints of God. Amen. I know you can get a, I know you can get a, a prayer through. But you wanted to serve the devil. Why right? come you didn't go to the devil, the one that you serving, right. and say, hey, devil, you know what? I'm pleasing you, man. So, you know, amen. Take this thing off of me. Come on. Oh, y'all, y'all quiet. Y'all quiet. Go ahead. Go ahead now. Amen. But people want you to get on the devil, get cancer, and whatever the stuff they, they know they're about to die. Then they want to call on God. Amen. What's the point? What's the point? You didn't want him then. How come you want him now? Amen. Oh, I'm going to have somebody it, thinking, you didn't it. want him there. Come on. What if God tell you, what's the point? Right. You right. said he'll laugh at your calamity. Yes, All right. Did. Some of them, he do tell you, what's the point? Because there ain't, no ain't no more hope for you. That's right. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. When I called, you did not regard my reproof. Say it, say it. You didn't want to hear me. All you didn't right. want to have nothing to do with me. Amen. You didn't want to have nothing to do with the saints of God. Yes. Yes. You turn your nose up on the Christians, All on the right. saints of God. All Amen. Right. But when you came down to the world, Come on. what they going to do for you? Amen. What's the point? What's the point? Can they bring you back to life? Come on now. Don't you know doctors can't even bring you back to life if All God right. wants you to die? All right. Uh -oh. All right. All right. I don't care what he does, how he sew it up, what not. If it ain't meant for you to keep living, right. Amen. you going to die. Yes. Amen. Because you in God's hands. Yes. So what's the point? Amen. Why are you choosing sin over God? What's Come the point? Now. What's so great about sin that that you know that'll keep you from seeking God or staying in God? What's the point? I, I can see if it was will give you eternal life, mm -hmm. but even Joshua said, "Choose you this day who you gonna serve." Yes, 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 yes. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. You got to choose life or death. Amen. What you gonna choose? Oh, y'all better come on now. Yes. What's the point? Can mean a couple of things. First, it means what is the purpose? Mm -hmm. Why are you doing it? Right. Well, I'm doing it because my, my dad was an alcoholic and my, my mom was a drug addict. That's a, that's a bad excuse. That's, that's, that's why you in drugs. You don't have to be in drugs because your family was in drugs. Amen. That's right. You don't have to be in sin because your family is in sin. Amen. What's the point? Amen. I guarantee you, if all of y'all go to hell together, you ain't going to even know each one of them is there. All right. They could be right by and you won't even know them. In hell. For real, I'm telling amen. you, you won't even know because the Bible says you'd be so busy, amen, screaming and hollering. In torment. But what's the point? Is it going to get you or keep you out of hell fire? Is it going to get you into heaven? Right. Why are you doing this? Why are you, why are you giving up on God? Why? Amen. Come on now. Think about it. Amen. Because God was slow to answering your prayers. Come on. What's the point? Amen. He waited on you. Right. A lot of us, he waited on us for years. Amen. And some of us, he's still waiting on us. All right. All right. What has God done to you that was so bad that you didn't want God? Mm. That you got to say later, God, later, right, you know, right. later. That's what you be saying, later. You know, I, you know, I got to have me some fun. Ah, uh, you can't get, be guaranteed that. No, no. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. Why are we doing this? What's the point? Okay, let me go back. First, it means what is the purpose mm -hmm. and why are we doing this? What's the point? Some people decide to do things and don't know why they are doing it. Mm -hmm. It's just made sense to me. A lot of things to make, when it comes down to sin mm -hmm. can make sense to you because you're sinful. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you got, you, you, 
You got the devil, you got sin in you. So it's going to make sense. It makes sense for me, to me to do it like this. But I'm telling you, you, you you're damaging your soul. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. You're damaging. See, you don't understand that. You haven't come into the knowledge. That's why God sent preachers to let you know. You're damaging your soul, your own soul. You're killing. Didn't I have a message about you killing yourself? Why? Come on. Why? You're killing yourself. Amen. Spiritually and naturally. Mm -hmm. You're damaging Amen. your soul. Amen. Amen. It made me feel good. I did it because, you know, it just made me feel good. I like doing it, you know. I remember one time uh, Apostle Mitchell was telling a brother that was demon possessed and he had a spirit. And he came into the church and he saw the spirit and he asked the brother, he said, do you want us to pray for you? You know what he got up and said? No, I like being like this. What was the point? He said, because it made me feel good. I don't know what happened to him after that, but that's the way some people are. Amen. You know, sin make me feel good. Yeah, the devil going to make it feel good. It's going to make it pleasurable. Amen. That's how he's going to keep you out there. But at the end, he's going to laugh. He ain't going to laugh because he's going to be in hell too. But when you die, he's going to be laughing. There go another one. On the list. There go another one. On the list. Food. Another food. Another food. He's talking about you. Right. I said the devil is talking about Come you. Sometimes people are talking about yes, you. Yes, yes, amen. I don't know. It just made sense. It made me feel good. It was pleasurable. And then find out later, it's to no avail. Mm -hmm. Everything that you're doing out there didn't profit you. It's vanity. Vanities of all vanity. Mm-hmm. That's what, that's what Solomon said. Yes. Out of all the stuff that he did to gain, amen, stuff, it, you know, he said, if you die, it'll belong to another. Right. Yes. What's the point? What's the point? You want to get riches and all this sort of stuff and die and somebody else get it. Come on, and man. your family be arguing over your right. stuff. Right. Uh-uh, he want me to have it. No, he want me to have it. No, let it go. No, he told me I can have this. And, he can do, and they arguing over what you right. profited from. But you don't know that because you're in hell. See? Because you're not serving God. Somebody ain't going to like this okay. message. Well, but that's all right. right. What profit a man to gain the whole world? It loses soul. There's nothing wrong with having money and riches no. and stuff like that. But have it with God. Amen. Serving God. Yes. You know, money and riches have turned people from God. Amen. Turned their face from God. Amen. And they got, their mind is focused on the stuff, the world, the stuff, things, 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 cars, things, prestige, things, on this and that and that, having fun, having fun, having fun. Yes. You ain't going to have no fun in the lake of fire. See? Come on now. What's the point? Amen. We, what we be doing is going to send us to heaven. Mm-hmm. And there won't be no more weeping and gnashing. There won't be no weeping and gnashing of teeth. Amen. The formal amen. things that we used to do, the formal things, amen, the pain and the, and the stuff that we had to go, it won't even be remembered. God will take all them old memories away. All those memories that brought you sadness and, and stuff that brought you sadness, but you held on to God. Now you're in the presence of God in paradise waiting on that day, amen, for God to call you up. That's why we live the way we live. That's our point because our purpose is to see God in peace. Amen. What's your point? Amen. First right. Timothy 5 and 6. Get that mic. First, First Timothy 5 and 6. What did it say? But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. This is what Paul was telling Timothy. Yes. And he was talking about the widows. Amen. How they were supposed to live. Yes. Right? And how, how they were supposed to present themselves before the other women. Amen. Right. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. And he said, but she, and that goes for he too. All right. Because you got widows and you got widowers. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You have a responsibility. Responsibility. But she, or he that liveth in pleasure is dead. Don't you know you dead right now? Amen. You are spiritually dead to God. Amen. Well, y'all don't believe it's that. Right, do it's right, though. It's right. He see, he see you, but you're spiritually dead mm -hmm. to God. 
No relationship between you and God. Mm-hmm. You walking around dead. Dead man walking. Mm. Dead woman walking. Come on now. Amen. And here you enjoy yourself in the pleasure of sin, but you dead yet while you live. <laughs> your, your, your end is what? Degradation. Eternal damnation. Amen, right. amen. Think about it and sit down and think about it. All right now. Yeah. Just don't sit down and think about it. Then you got a few tears coming down your face. But then when you get up, uh-huh. you never forgot all about right. it. Amen. But he or she that liveth in pleasure is dead. Do you hear what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When it comes down to God, you I mean, he'll take care of you. But so far as your spiritual life is concerned, you're a dead man. Amen, amen, amen. You're a dead woman walking, talking, because that's your demise. Yes. That's where you're going. Yes. Come on now. Amen, I'm amen. trying to talk to you. Yeah. And I'm still trying to tell you, those that are, that are saved, you better hold on to God. Amen. Hold on to God, because it ain't easy to get back Hallelujah. to God. Come on now. Listen to somebody who knows. I used to be a backslider. It wasn't easy. I used to cry at night. Amen. After I go out and party and drink and all that sort of stuff. Amen. On the dance floor. I know what pleasure is all about. But my soul was crying out to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the only way I could get peace through God. Amen. Go out and party and dance and whatnot. Come home. Amen. Weeping. Crying because my inner, inner man, and I knew better. I was raised in church, I was raised in holiness. Some of y'all were raised in holiness, yes. and you didn't turn from God. All What's right, the point? All right, all right, amen. What's the point of turning from God knowing you're going to hell? I'm talking about knowing right. you're going, right, and taking a chance. What's yes. the point? What's the point of putting your, your life on the line? Come right. on now, all tell right. me now. What's the point? I can see if you had control over your own life, right. But none of us do. We be praying when we go to bed at night. God, I hope I wake up the next day. Don't you do? Don't don't don't. Hey, God, protect me. Hope protect me from hurt, harm, and danger. Mm -hmm. You still want God to protect you. Yes. But you don't want to live for Him. What's the point? Don't be look. Don't be trying to use God. Amen. For your purpose. Amen. Oh, somebody ain't gonna like this. Right. We all got to stand before the judgment seat of God to give an account. Yeah, we, we preach these kind, of, this, these kind of doctrines, teaching, because people need to know this. Yes, they they know. need to come into reality, even though yes. they backslid, come into reality. What's the point of turning amen, from God? Amen, amen. Hallelujah. For a nickel, a yes. dime, a quarter, 50 cent. Come on now. For a girl. Amen. For a man. Come on. And he might not be with you, but for an hour. See? Uh-oh. It's slam, bam, and thank you, ma'am, and he gone. What was the point? You thought he was all that. And he done left you for another woman. What was the point? You done gave up God to lay with this boy, to lay with this man, to have this man. You done fell overly in love with him, and he don't care nothing about you. All he wants is a peace. I'm just making it real for you. Yes, you are. Come on now. All he want to do, woman, sometimes is to take advantage of you. Amen. That's all he want to do. Sometimes he didn't bet on you. I bet you I can get that. I've heard it and seen it done. Come on now. I bet you I can get that. What? How much? I, I, I bet you $5 I can get it. Y'all know I'm right. Amen. And here you think you so much in love, and you, and you might be in love, but he ain't. Mm-hmm. So what's the point? What's the, what's the point of out there giving yourself like that and then lo- to no avail? Amen. Just for a simple slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Oh, y'all don't like, y'all don't see, you don't hear these it's kind of messages. Right. You don't, right. I'm just telling you like it is. Amen. See, what I'm saying, they think it's vulgar. But what you be saying is more vulgar than what I be saying. Right, right, right. Come on now. Amen. He's so vulgar with it. Why is it so vulgar? I'm telling you the truth. Right. Y'all know that. You know you've been taking advantage of a woman. Some men been taking advantage of. All right. 
Some women know that all they want is what you got in your pocket. Come on. Oh, y'all better come on now. They just want you to take care of them. Yes. But they got somebody else on the side. All right. What's the point? But God is there all the time. Amen. God said, I'll never leave you. Neither will I forsake you. Men right. are forsaken. Women forsake you. Your family will give up on you. Yes. And those are the ones you kind of keep on, keep on holding on to. Yes. But when you try to hold on to God, you can't hold on to God because it's just too much for you. Yes. The devil got you thinking, you can't do this. You can't live this kind of life. Yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. I've done it for 46, for, oh, what, 46 years now. But I had to keep on pressing. Yes. I had to keep on pushing. I had to realize that my soul was at stake. Yes. 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 Not pleasure. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you about the man named Job. You murmuring and complaining because you didn't get a donut. Because God didn't bless you with a paycheck. Things happening. You, some of y'all ain't winning. Ever, ever. Some of y'all ain't went through nothing compared to some what some things yeah, to what other people yeah, going through. Yeah. And I'm talking about those that are sanctified and they still holding on. Right. You didn't gave up. Oh God, because I just can't take it, girl. I just, I just, I just, I just can't take it. I just, I just can't take it. Why can't you take it? All right. Jesus did. Yes, he, did. he took it for you. Okay. He died for you. Yes. He was ridiculed by, by for you. Put on the cross for you. Yes. And that's all you think about God? And your Savior? Lucia. What you going to do? What you going to do? But I just feel like right now, you just feel like right now I'm going to hell, right? All right, yeah. Come on. Right now. Don't you know that sometimes people, when they leave God, sometimes they die the next day? Yes. There were people that, amen. amen, there were people that just got saved and the day before God showed them that uh, they almost got into an accident. God showed them, see, that would have been the time you died. Mm -hmm. Reveal amen. that to them. Amen. I know somebody that went through that. Amen. The devil told them, say, wait till tomorrow. Come on. Come on now. God spoke to them, say, you might not even see tomorrow. Come on. Say it. Yeah. She listened to it. She said, no, I'm getting saved. I ain't going to wait till tomorrow. She got saved that night during the funeral. She got saved. Amen. She didn't care about what people saying. Oh, she just got saved because, you know, it was a funeral. Right. Because some people do do that too, you know. Oh, yeah. But that's when they get scared. Mm -hmm. When they see people stretched out and whatnot. Right. Then that's when they start thinking, maybe I better get saved. Uh -huh. But you got to mean business with yes, God. Yes, yes, amen. I got saved because I want to be saved. Yes. That was my purpose. Hallelujah. Glory to be to saved God. and live for Christ. Yes. What is your purpose? All right now. What's the point? If you ain't going to do it right. If you ain't going to do it right, what's the point? If you ain't going to live right, what's the point? Why sit up in church and be a hypocrite? Right. Mm -hmm. right. It ain't going to get you nowhere. No. Sitting up there. I don't care if you are in the choir. I don't care if you are playing the drums. I don't care if you are on the organ. I don't care. If you can sing to the to the to the Things on the wall start dingling, chiming. If you ain't saved, it ain't bringing you nowhere. Amen. It's not going to take you anywhere. What is going to profit? Right. Let's go to see what Job said. Y'all bear along with me now. This is part one. What did it say, Job 23, 1 through 17? Then Job answered and said. What did he say? Even today is my complaint bitter. Mm-hmm. My stroke is heavier than my groan. He was going through some things. Yes, amen. But God allowed this to happen to him to prove to Satan that he had somebody. Yes, hallelujah. That was going to keep the faith. Yes. That wasn't going to give up. Amen. That he was going to hold on because he, he, what, he, he said he was a perfect and upright man. Yes, he bragged amen. on Job. Yes, he did. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. amen. Sometimes God will brag on us. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hey, Amen. I'm going to tell you about that, brother. He's holy. Yes. The devil don't like that. I, and the devil challenged God and said, yeah. I bet you if you remove everything from him, he'll turn on you. All right. All right now. Well, Say God it. showed him. Yes, yeah. he did. He lost everything he had. Amen. And one day, but you know what he did? He fell on his knees Hallelujah. and he glorified Hallelujah. and worshiped God. Hallelujah. 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 
This is what we got to do. I don't care if we lose everything. You got to glorify God. Because if he gave it to you, and the devil took it, God could give it right back to you double time. Job got back double what he lost yes, yes. of everything. Amen. See, the, the God will outdo you. Yes, he will. With the devil, you'll fall short. Come on. He'll subtract it from you. Yes. He'll give it to you and then take it back. Yep. Yep. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Am I talking or am I talking? Yes, but he was talking. And then he had old, what they call those uh, friends call themselves friends, Mis miserable comforters. That will come to him and say, "You must have sinned. You must have did it because this doesn't happen to anybody of us like us. I ain't never if you unless you sin." But they didn't know what God knew. Do you hear what I'm saying? You don't even have to do something wrong for things to happen to you. Do you hear what I'm saying? Sometimes things happen to us because it's just life. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Say it's just life. What you're going through, it's just life. If you're working hard, you, it's just life. You got to work hard. <laughs> Until God bless you with an easy job. Oh, Y'all better hear me now. God know how to bless you with uh, more money. You ain't got to cheat and lie for it. What's the point? And then you get caught and get fired. You lose it anyway. I am hope I'm talking to somebody. But Job was talking. He said, then Job answered and said, even today is my complaint bitter. My stroke is heavier than my groaning. He was just showing what, what he was facing. What he was going through. Amen. Go ahead, Evangelist. All that I knew where I might find him. See, he knew where he might find God. Uh-huh. That I might come even to his seat. Uh -huh. I would order my cause before him uh -huh. and fill my mouth with arguments. I got a complaint. I need to talk to God. Yes. Amen. Not with an attitude. No, 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 no. God, I don't understand. Right. I know I'm living for you. There ain't nothing no. wrong with that. God knows no. we ain't going to understand That's everything right. while we're going through what we're going through. That's right. Yes. But, your Bible, but the Bible tells you in 1 Peter that your brethren suffer the same affliction. Same affliction. There were people that died to pay, the, to pay the way for yes, us. Yes, yes, amen. They were looking for, amen, the promise of the land, the promised yes, land, amen, amen, of Canaan. But they died and never saw it. But Come they on. knew they had a better, oh, oh, better oh, oh, they knew they had a better hope. <laughs> Come on now. Amen. Say that. So what if you lose? So what if you don't? So what if you die before you get what you want? You got a better hope. Ooh, glory, yes, Lord, <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> you amen. got a land, amen, that's flowing with milk and honey. All right, now. Come on, amen. streets paved with gold. All right, say Come it, on, say now, it. pearly gates. Amen. Amen. No God. more weeping in national teeth. You got to think right, about now. that, not what amen. you're doing down here. Amen. Oh, y'all better say come that. On. Yes, Lord. Amen, amen. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, I knew. I knew Wonderful that I knew. I, oh, that I knew where I might find him. Yes. That I might come even to his seat. You can come go on. to God. You can go to the oh, yes, throne of God. Can. Yes, you can. You don't understand something. You don't understand why you're going through. Go to God. Don't be going to oh, people. Don't be going to yes, sinners. God. Come on now. Sinners can't, some, sinners, some sinners can't even tell you how to get out of it. All right now. Because they in something themselves. Amen. That's right. Go ahead. I would know the words which he would answer me and understand what he would say unto me. Right, because I know if I come to him, he's going to open up my understanding. Yes. Do you hear what I'm saying? And sometimes God don't answer right away. Amen. But that's where trust and belief come in. Yes. God, I know you did it for a reason. I know you suffered me to go through this amen, for a reason. Uh-huh. Will he plead against me with his great power? He didn't know what God was going to do. Uh-huh. No, but he would put strength in me. He would put strength. God ain't going to rebuke you. You coming to him Come for on. deliverance. He ain't going to rebuke you, but he's going to give you strength right. and power yes. to go through. Yes. Yes. So why give up on God? See, there's no excuse to give up on God because he took his time. 
I still said, how long did it take you to give God your life? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of you all, God is still waiting on you. All right now. Come on now, you're getting all up in age now. You can't even get around like you used to get around. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. You got physical problems. You got, some of you got mental problems. Some of you got all kinds of problems. Come on now. But God is the only one that can fix it. Amen. Yeah. This just came to me. Young people, the Bible said, remember thy, what is creator. it? Creator. Creator. Be before In the days of thy youth. Of the days of thy youth. While you're young, you got energy, you're able to get around. Yes. Before the evil days, what? Draw, Draw nigh. nigh. Oh, hallelujah. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. When the body starts bending over yes. and, and the teeth yes. start falling out and the, and the eyes get dim. Yes, and, Lord. And you can't hardly walk and talk. Those were evil days. Ooh, yes. Amen. Remember oh, that yes. creator. It's too late to want God now. You all crippled over and all that sort of stuff because you didn't have so much pleasure in sin. Devil got you all bent over and you can't hardly do nothing. Remember that creator in the days of thy youth. It's in the book. Go ahead, Evangelist. Will he plead against me with his great power? Yeah. No. But he would put strength in me. He will not scold me. What you come to me for? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. There the righteous might dispute with him. So should I be delivered forever from my judge. Uh -huh. Behold, I go forward, but he is not there. Did you hear what he said? I there the righteous might dispute. That might be something that might want to argue with God. Come on. Dispute God. I don't see why you got me going through this. And you know you said you're going to do this. And you said you're going to do that. <laughs> Who's God? Amen. He got an answer to you? Do God have to answer to us? No. No, no, no. He's God. Amen. He's head. Come on now. You got to have that trust in God. Believe Amen. in him. Amen. Some of y'all were like that with your parents. You got to always dispute what your parents want you to do. And it was for your own good. Yeah. I don't see why I got to wash dishes. I don't see why I got to work. And I don't see why this and I see. And you know what? Those that turn out like that and dispute like that end up being what? No. Foolish. Nothing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on. Come you on. can't blame it on your parents because right. they tried to make you go to school and help you go to school. Come on. Keep you out of trouble. No, you want to hang out with the, uh -oh. with the hoodlums. See? See? The Come hoodlums. On, Come on. Oh, I know Hallelujah. I'm talking to somebody. Hallelujah. They're the righteous might dispute. Said might dispute. Because sometimes they don't understand. So they question God. So should I be delivered forever? My, I know I'll be delivered. He still had faith that God was going to deliver him. Uh-huh. Behold, I go forward. But he is not there. Uh -huh. And backward, but I cannot perceive him. Mm -hmm. On the left hand, where he doth work, but I cannot behold him. Mm -hmm. He hideth himself on the right hand, that I cannot see him. That's the way he felt. Hallelujah. Looked like Ill. everywhere he turned, oh, everything he tried hallelujah. to do, you know, God wasn't answering him. He said, where is he? Come on now. <laughs> where is he? I know he's Ooh, there, Jesus. but where is he? Come he on. did that for a purpose. Yes, yes. He wanted Job to have trust in God. Amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? But come here on. come these old miserable comforters. Amen. Y'all got to stop listening to some of these miserable yes, comforters. Yes, I ain't going to say some. Yes. All of those miserable Amen. comforters. Right. Child, if I was you, right. you know, I'd do this and I'd do that. Come Look on. at their lifestyle. All right Hello. now. Hello. All right. Look at their lifestyle. Amen. I don't care if they're doing good. Still Amen. look at their lifestyle. Where are they going? Right, right, right. Amen. Uh, is that all right? Yeah. Amen. Uh huh. But he knoweth the way that I take. That's what the scripture I wanted to say. But God knoweth the way that I should take. Yes. God's no. God knows what's going to profit. What I'm going to profit from. Amen. The place that He wants me to be. The purpose that God wants for us. Mm hmm. He has a purpose for all of us. Amen. And that's to live holy. That was Amen. his purpose. I don't care if your purpose wasn't to live holy. That was God's purpose. Amen. Amen. In the beginning, for God so loved the world. 
That he get what gave his only begotten son, yeah, whosoever yeah. believed in him shall not what perish. 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 That was his purpose, so come you won't on, perish, so come you on. won't go to hell. Yes. But have what everlasting, everlasting life. life. Amen. He brought it to you, man. He, he yes, brought it to you, woman. Come he on. brought it to you, girl. Come on, come on. He come brought on. it to you, boy. Amen. So what's the point? He brought Amen. it to you. He's there with his arms stretched wide. Oh, yes, he is. Come, come unto me. Oh, ye that lay and a heavy lady, and I will give you a rest. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel this in my That's spirit. Yay. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. God. Thank you, Jesus. But he said, out of all this stuff, sores all over him. He had to scrape some of them sores off, and yes, it was a heap yes. of sores. Just, just, you didn't even have to go through that. Come on now. Heap of sores, and it smelled. Yes, yes, yes it, it did. It stunk. Yes, Come on now. But God knew why he was doing yes, it. Yes, he did. Do you love God? Who was that he said, love it thou me more than more these? Than these. Come on. Love it thou me more than these things. You see, it all depends what you got your mind focused on. Mm -hmm. Got your mind focused on things and people and family yes, and friends. Yes, yes. Talk, sir. Good. He that love his mother and father, sister and brother is not even worthy. Come on now. You ain't even worthy of God. <laughs> all right, now. When you put your family before God. Yes, yes. Who do yes. you think you are? Come on now. Doing that. Your creator. Your your maker. Yes. The one that got you living. Think about it. Oh, yes. Don't even think to even turn from a true and living God. Amen. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But he knoweth the way that I take. He knew it. He said, when he, you know God. God knows the way that I should take. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. See, he came to that conclusion. He's trying me. Yeah. So when he hath tried me, I'm going to come out as pure gold. Yes, Do you hear that? You're going to come out victoriously yes, as pure gold. Hallelujah. Pure gold. Glory to God. Yes, Don't you know gold is tried in the fire? Oh, yes, it is. It's been purified before it come out and you, you get it. Come All on. the dross and stuff comes off the top. It rises to the top. And they pull it off so you can have pure gold. Yes. God wants you to be his gold. Yes. Pure gold. Yes. I shall come forth as gold. Mm -hmm. and you know gold is valuable. Yes, it is. How many want to be valuable? Oh, yes. I want to be valuable to God, boy. Yes, yes. Precious to God. I want to be precious to God. Amen. Are you precious to God? All right, don't, now. don't, don't. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> Tell the truth. If you lie, you ain't precious. See? If you lying and stealing, you ain't precious. Come on now. If you ain't faithful to God, you ain't precious. All right, say it, say it. Come on now, Amen. examine yourself. That's See right, how you be in the bed. Right. That's right, that's right. Amen. You living for God every now and then, you ain't precious. No, no, no. I know Amen. I'm precious to God. And you living the way you want to live? No, no, no. Devil is alive. Uh-huh. My foot have held his steps. His way have I kept and not declined. His ways. Did y'all hear that? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. That's why he was doing that. He was trying to reach a purpose. The point, the point was that he was suffering. He needed to talk to God for deliverance. Come on. Uh -huh. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. Come on now. How many of y'all can say that? Huh. All right now. Neither have I gone back from the commandments of his lips. Well, you know, we all have sinned. And come short of the glory of mm -hmm. God. That don't give you an excuse to sin. No, or doesn't. even stay no, in sin. Say it, say it now. Or feel good about sinning. Yeah, say it. Come on. What's the point? That's right. You could have died while you was Amen. out there. Amen. All y'all better come on. Yeah. Uh-huh. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. <laughs> he esteemed it. Look, I wouldn't even eat. I just want to hear from God. Amen. How many of us just want to hear from God sometimes? Sometimes you don't even be home because you want to talk to God. No. You want to glorify God. Yes. Food I eat yes. later. Right now, I want to talk to God. Yes. I need, yes. I don't, I don't, do we have any witnesses in you? Oh, yes. Amen. 
Sometimes you don't feel like it. You want to talk to God. See? Some people want to eat first, then talk to God. <laughs> belly full. Uh-huh. And sometimes when you, get, when you get your belly full, you're sleepy. <laughs> and you ain't said nothing to God. <laughs> Y'all know I'm so right. True. Y'all so know true. I'm so right. True. Amen. Amen. Y'all know I'm right. right. I'll pray later. I just want to eat first because I'm so hungry. Yeah. You get down and get hungry and eat, then you sluggish. Yes. Next thing you know, yes. you sleep. Uh-huh. And the time that went by and you ain't talked to God yet. Yeah, you better say that. Come on now. Amen. Somebody ain't some people ain't pushing nothing away. All right. All right. Hey, hallelujah. God, child, if I don't eat, I I can't even focus. I know what some people they it is like that. That's right. They have That's to eat. Right. Especially if they have conditions. Right. right. Amen? Amen. But ain't nothing wrong praying a little bit before you go. Pray while you get the food ready. See? Come on. Come on Did now. I say something wrong? No, you didn't. No. While no. you stirred the pot. Right. You can be praying. Oh, God, in the Holy. name of Jesus, I thank you. Keep your mind on what you're doing so That's you won't burn it. But, hey, I'm still praying. Amen. Y'all better hear me, boy. Amen. Amen. I'm coming you're doing in, all right, sir. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead. He said, I have but esteemed the words of his mouth. What? More than my necessary food. This was a time now. I need to, I need to go to God. Yes. I'll eat later. Come on. Uh-huh. Glory. But he is in one mind, and who can turn him? Right. Look at this. You know, I just, I just thought about this, too. You know, you got some glutton, gluttonous. Mm-hmm. You know, that's always want to eat. Yeah. Oh, I don't care. They can eat six times a day. <laughs> All day. Y'all know him, right? <laughs> Come on. You don't even get a refrigerator chance. <laughs> Ice all up in the refrigerator because you don't open this up so many times until it just. <laughs> all right, Bishop, amen. Y'all remember the refrigerators? You open it up and then they, and stuff stop. And the ice all over the place. Keep the, I wonder what, look, look. I wonder what's in there. The same thing that was in there when you checked five minutes ago. It was still there. It's still there. <laughs> or something. It's quiet. All right. All right. We all been there. Sometimes we go back. Man, that stomach, boy. That, see, that stomach will lead you. That's right. Some people better become their God. Uh-huh. But he is in one mind. He and who can turn him? Read that aside over again. We're going to get off the belly. Go, I mean, go ahead. 12 verse. 12 verse. Go ahead. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have not gone back from the commandments of whose lips? God's lips. Amen. I'm going to obey God. Amen. Regardless of what I'm going through, I'm going to take that it. I'm, I got to Amen. make it. That, I got a purpose. Yes. To you, know, to those of you that are giving up on God and those that want to give up, what's your purpose? Come on now. Where that's going to get you? Amen. I, I just want to know. Amen. A little, fe- a, little, a little pleasure for a little while? I don't care if you lived in pleasure for 10 years. That's still a little while come turning, uh, right. compared yeah, to eternity. eternity. Yes, Amen. That's right. That ain't nothing compared to eternity. Right. Eternity, eternity is forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. No in hell forever and ever and ever. Amen. To no Amen. end. No coffee break. Yeah. <laughs> no lunch time. No. No Amen. turning the fire off for about an hour. No. No. Amen. This ain't no joke. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't trying to make you laugh. I ain't right. trying. To, this is real. Amen. I believe in the word. How many believe in the word? Oh yes, Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said Glory to be God. weeping and gnashing yes. of teeth. Yes. Forever. Yes. Go to Revelation the twentieth chapter. Go to Revelation the twenty-first chapter. Some of these other chapters that talk about in the Old Testament talk about hell. Amen. Hell has enlarged itself. You know why? Because people go focusing on the world. The things of the world. Amen. So people are dying now because they're giving up on God. Mm-hmm. And people that don't want God. Can I keep talking? Uh-huh. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. Oh, there go the food again. Uh-huh. But he is in one mind, and who can turn him? God got his mind set. See? Come on now. You can't change God. Why I got to go through this, God? I think it's wrong for you to have me going through this. Who, who made who? All right, amen. Excuse me. Come on. Some of y'all 
wouldn't even talk to your mama like that because you'd be getting up off the floor. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Come on. You don't even know how you got down there and they hit you so fast. Amen. Y'all know them, right? Oh, yeah. Some of the parents, boy, they hit you, boy, they hit you, and then you see stars. You okay. Be going, and it'd be a little while before you come to yourself. Now, how you going to challenge God? Woo-wee. All right. God is even worse. That's right, Bishop. Keep on talking. Keep on uh, reading. And what his soul desireth, even that he doeth. For what his soul desireth. Yes. This is what God wants. Yes. God wants you to live holy. Right. God wants you to live sanctified. God wants you to go through your say taxes. That, God that. wants you to go through oh, your yes. trial. Hallelujah. If my son did it, you can Come do it too. On. Come on. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Pierced in the side. Yes. Thorns in his head. Right now. Feet nailed to the cross. Amen. Hands nailed to the cross. And you talking about the little things that you're going through Come on. compared to Jesus, mm. you can't even compare it. No, you can't. No, you can't. But I wonder where he is today. See? Hi. Where's Jesus at? Hi. Sitting on the right hand of Sitting God. Sitting on the right hand of God. Amen. Making intercessions for who? The saints. The saints. Amen. And drawing people to God. Yes. Huh? Amen. Because he told the people, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father you got to go through me. Amen. You got to go to Jesus first. Yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Jesus is the way. Jesus is a way maker. Jesus is a way maker. Jesus is a way maker. One day he made a way for me. When my life. Life was dark and dreary, Jesus. He came in as a prayer. One day he made a way. He made a way. He made a way. Didn't he make a way? Yes, he did. He's still making a way. Yes, he did. He made a way for us to be saved. Yes. He's a way maker. Yes. yes he knows the path that we should take. All right now. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Amen. Uh huh. For he, for he performeth the thing that is appointed for me. He performeth. Yes. It's his doing. It's his doing. Right. That he appointed to you. This is what I want you to do. Mm-hmm. This is what I want you to do. We all have responsibilities. For number one, as humans, to be saved. Mm-hmm. That's, right. mm-hmm. That's what God appointed for you. To have life and that more abundantly. Amen. Come on now. To give up sin. But you're not fulfilling God's appointment. You're not going, you're not taking care, you're not taking care of the business of what God wants you to do. Mm-hmm. And don't you know that hurts God? Amen. Yes, it does. That makes God angry. Amen. He's angry with the wicked what? Every, Every day. day. Every day. For he performs the thing that is appointed for me mm-hmm. individually. God knows what he wants you to right, go through. Right, right. I'm appointing for you to do this. Amen. And he wouldn't appoint you to do that if, you knew, if he knew you couldn't do it. Right. Because he would put no more on you than you can bear. Come on. So he wouldn't appoint it to you. Okay, I'm going to allow that to happen. But I'm, I'm not going to allow that to happen to her. But I believe she, I know she can handle that. Come on. Do you hear what I'm saying? Come on. He now. know the purpose of why he's got it. To make you strong, firm, to know God as He is, as God. Yes. Amen. Uh huh. And many such things are with Him. Mm-hmm. Therefore, am I troubled at His presence when I consider I am afraid of Him? For God maketh my heart soft, mm-hmm. and the Almighty troubleth me, because I was not cut off before the darkness. Neither had he covered the darkness from my face. This is the way, this is the way uh, Job felt. Yes, amen. He know the path. Glory to God. He was just being honest. Yes. With God and with himself. Amen. But his purpose was what? To please God. Yes. Not to give up. Amen. Oh, yeah, he had to think for a minute because, you know, some of them miserable couples had them thinking that he did do something wrong. See. Do you hear what I'm saying? 
you must have sin. Don't let people tell you you have yeah, sin right. because you didn't. Right. You going through something, right. so you ain't doing. You ain't doing things right. It's just your time to go through something. That's right. Oh, y'all better come on now. Amen. <laughs> Let's go. Can we go to another scripture? Yes, sir. Luke 9, 57 through 62. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, probably won't do them all, but this is part one. Luke 9, 57 to 62. Amen. What did it say? And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. See, when you ain't going through nothing at the time, you, talk tough, huh? you can really talk tough. <laughs> They saw all the miracles that Jesus was doing and all that sort of stuff. Come you know, on. hey, uh -huh. uh, we want to be with you. Yeah. You know, let me just say it like this. We want to hang out with you, Jesus. Come on. Wherever you go, I'm going. Ever. That's because you ain't going through nothing see? right there. But see, God, Jesus had to wake him up there a little bit. Oh, yes. Oh, y'all, come on with Amen. me now. Amen. Amen. Are you really, really, really serious about following Christ? Come on. Living like Christ. Yes. Oh, y'all better hear me. Say it. Say it's, it. It's so easy to say, I'm willing. Yep. It's easy to it's say. It's easy that. to say that. It, I mean, it don't even cost you nothing to say, I'm willing. Come on. But have you counted up the cost? Right. That's it right there, sir. Have you counted up the cost? I didn't know it was going to be like this. Uh huh. Some of you all did know, but you still didn't hang in there. All right. And it came to pass that they went into the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whatsoever thou goest. How many of y'all made that vow? All right, come on, come on. They were going right. You, doors was opening up for you. Yes, Lord. Getting a good paycheck. Amen. Dressing good. Amen. Got a nice car. God, I'll follow you wherever you go. That's because you're being blessed. Mm -hmm. But what happens is if God mm -hmm. take everything like he did, Joe? All right. He suffered that to happen. Yes. Oh. Amen. It's quiet. Amen. Talk is cheap. How many amen, know that? Amen. Amen. Uh huh. And Jesus said unto him, "Foxes have holes." I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get you to consider this now. Right. And birds of the air have nests. Look, they got holes and they got nests. But the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. He was out there in the open. Come on. This rooftop was the, the sky. Come on. The sun. Can you do it? <laughs> Can you do it? Uh oh. Look. Amen. That's something to think. Oh, yes, it is. Don't be rash with your mouth. See? Yeah, I can do it. Mm -hmm. But soon, soon, something just kind of a little bit hit you. Oh, what's all this? Right. Right. What's all this? What's all this? <laughs> But God will warn you. Oh, yes, he will. Look. Come you want to reign with me, you got to suffer. Yes, yes, yes. That's the word. Amen. Come you on. You want to reign with God, you got to suffer. He didn't let you know. He didn't hide that. He said right. you have to suffer. Right. You have to go through. Come on now. It's working. It's working. You said foxes have holes. Birds of the air have nests. But the son of man has no place to lay his head. So what he was trying to tell him, you might not have a place to See, lay your head. Come on now. You might be hungry sometime. Amen. Uh oh. He was trying to get something to consider. Yes. yes. Uh huh. And he said unto another, Follow me. <coughs> but he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. He had an excuse. Mm hmm. Amen. Well, I got to go do this first. See, that was his way of getting out of it. Right. Jesus said unto him, what? What did he say? Follow. Suffer me first to go and bury my father. Okay, I'll I, 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 I follow you, but you got to let me do this first. Right. And that's the way some people are about in church. Yes, sir. Well, God, before I live for you, you know, I got to do this first. I got, mm -hmm. you know, it's one thing that I wanted to do while I was out there in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I wanted to get this before, I, you know. You didn't, you didn't have plans already what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And being saved is messing up your plans. Come on now. So your excuse is, I haven't obtained this yet, and I mm -hmm. haven't got to this point yet. And so before I give God my life, no, 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 it doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't. You got to be willing to give up everything. Everything. Right then and there. Yes. Knowing that God will supply your every, every need. Every need. Yes. Come on now. 
But no, Ooh. I want to wait. I want to wait till I, I see. I went to school for four years, uh -huh. and I want to wait until I finish school. You might not even finish school. Amen. The Bible said, "Now is the time. Now, now is the day yes, for Lord. salvation." Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He didn't tell you why you gonna put God on hold. Right. Oh. Come on now. You said, "Suffer me first to go." And bury my father. He mm -hmm. said, mine was always father. Mm -hmm. But Jesus was trying to let him know who's more important. Right. Who's more important, y'all? Man, Jesus. I didn't, I didn't hear too many names. I mean, who's more important? Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all Amen. Sure? Amen. You scared Amen. to say Jesus is more Look. important? God. He is. Yes, he is. This is an individual thing. Yes, yes, yes. Because you're going to be tested and tried. Amen. Yes. So Jesus is more important to you, huh? Uh, uh huh? Don't be wishing you never said it. All right. Uh huh. Jesus said unto him, "What did he say? Let the dead bury their let dead." The dead. So yeah, how serious? If you're really serious about this, let the dead bury the dead. Yes. I want you to come go with me now. Right. right. What's the purpose of you doing that? That ain't gonna, that ain't gonna give you life over come there. On, take care on, of that. Come on. Take care of that business over there. I want you to take care of the business that I want you to do here over here. Right, right. You want to follow me? What's the point? Amen. Of turning God down to do something that you plan to do. Amen. Uh huh. Jesus said unto him, "Let the dead bury their dead." But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. That's what I want. Don't you know God's got to be more important than the That's world? That's right. That's right. Amen. He, did, he wasn't telling them that he could not visit his, the dead. Right. Mm -hmm. But at this point, he needed him. Right. Amen. Some things you got to drop Come on. to please God. Yes. Yes. I know I'm talking right. Come on. Something you got to drop. You know, I would be that, but God want me to go here. Amen. And I got to follow. I got to, I got to charge, I got to charge the king. Come on. And I got a God to glorify. Yes, yes, yes. I don't Amen. care if they did tell you, always going to church, always going to church. Uh, yeah. And then every time we need you, you go on <laughs> to church. Yeah. Amen. Well, hey, what else can right. I do? Amen. God is more important. That's what I do. But there'll be a time I'll come That's see you. Come on. Amen. They'll try to make you feel bad. Yeah. Like you don't love them. Come on. You can believe what you want. I love you. Yes, yes. I'll call you. Amen. But right now, I got to be about, uh oh, See? Uh -oh. I got to be about my father's business. Amen, amen. Come on now. You know how to stand up for yourself? Come I got to be about my father's business. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. Come on. What's more important? All right. What's the point? Uh-huh. And another also said, well, Lord, you go another one. I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. I've got to say bye first. <laughs> you know, God sometimes will try you. Yes, he will. God, I'll do anything for you. I'll live for you. I'll, I'll walk for you. I'll talk for you. I'll sing for you. Okay? Then when he call you, you're too busy. Right. I got to do this. Some people are full of excuses. Yes, amen. Full of excuses of not coming to church. Amen. Full of excuses. But when it comes down to their own life, they don't even try to get, have an excuse. Come on, man. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. And I got to do this. And I got to do this. Got a handful of stuff what I got to do. Yes. And God comes last. All right. You think God likes him coming last? No. No, he doesn't. Amen. Your creator. Come on, your now. provider, All right. your life giver, See? and you gonna put him on the back burner? Come on now, my God! That's right. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Amen. Say amen. That's it. That's it. Well, right. there you go. The rocks are crowded. <laughs> Come on now, little babies. Go. Amen. Uh huh. What's the next? One? Oh, okay. And Jesus said unto him, What did he say unto him? No man, no man, having put his hand to the plow uh -huh. and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. To do all this, what's the purpose? Come on. To put them first, you're not fit. Right. To put this world before God, you're not fit. That's right. Amen. And I'm not saying that God don't give us time to take care of our own business, because he does. Yes, right, yes, he does. We have to live a balanced life. Amen, amen. 
But you know you give more time to yourself and to your people and to your friends and your family and your job more than you do. God. Amen. Come on, you know you do. Say it, say it, say it. Come on. Come on. Be, be serious. Be serious. Be real. Be truthful. Yes. Amen. Amen. I know I don't give God time like I should give him time. But I'm so busy. My life. You mean to tell me you too busy for eternal life? My God. That's what you're saying. I'm too busy for eternal life. I'll do that later. Right now, I got to take care of me. How long do you think me is going to last? No man putting his hand to the plow. And that's one that used to be saved. To the plow. This is using a, this a metaphor. The plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Here you're going to take hold of holiness. And you looking back at the world. Mm -hmm. Seeing how far. I, I look back to see how far God brought me from. Come on, come on. Not what I was missing. Or right, am missing. Right, right. You looking back to see what you're missing. I ain't missing mm, nothing. Nothing. That's what you got. That's the kind of attitude you I ain't, I ain't missing, missing nothing, nothing when it comes down to God. I ain't Come missing on. all that world and stuff. Mm. No, no. Amen. Man, I remember when I used to sit down with Johnny and we would play cards all night. Mm -hmm. Is that something to reminisce about? Mm -hmm. Get together and start talking about how y'all used to get high. Ain't nothing to reminisce about. See? Ain't nothing to gloat over. Right, right. It was sending you to hell. Amen. Right. You sitting Amen. up there with the sinner talking about, man. Come on. You know, they, they not saved. They, man, I remember we used to go out all night. Remember, girl, remember we went out all night and then we did so and so, so. Yeah, yeah, you saved. Right. <laughs> Amen. All right, bitch, talk now. You ought to be saying, yeah, girl, I remember, but I was on my way to hell. See? Come on, I'm man. so glad now I'm saved. That's right. Amen. That's the kind of talk you Amen. ought to talk to them. Amen. Because they'll try to bring up old memories. Don't right. you know something? Right. That's the devil. Want to bring old memories. Remember oh, yeah. Johnny? Remember Johnny, boy? Johnny? Come on. <laughs> Johnny had some money, didn't he? Johnny did this and Johnny did that and Johnny did that. Johnny was helping you go to hell. See, come on now. But you Amen. don't remember that, do you? All right. All right. The devil wants you to reminisce. Right. I don't Amen. know how I got there. Come on, come on. It's all right. Looking back. Looking back. Amen. You're not fit. Amen. Yes, Lord. And stop feeling good about it. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, Johnny, just make me shake. And you shake it. You're supposed to be saved. Okay. Girl, just thinking about it just makes me, oh, ooh, my. make my flesh just, ooh. See, you better tell the all devil, right, Shell. Right. Amen. Amen. Be still, flesh. Come on. Better say no, that. No, we got to get on another subject. I don't want to talk about Johnny. I don't want to talk about Susan. I don't want to talk about what I used to do I that was know, wrong. That's right. Amen. Come on. I bet you they don't want to hear about Jesus. See. Girl, don't nobody want to talk about that. Well, I said, well, I don't want to talk about it now. See you. All right. Amen. Y'all got to learn how to stand up for yourself. Amen. What's the point? Amen. To sit down amongst the sinners. If you're going to tell them that the life that you used to live, you don't live anymore. Amen. And the benefit that you got from living holy and how God has been good to you and you've never had such a beautiful time or beautiful life until you met God. All right now, amen. And be for sincere and for real. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Amen. But you're going to be walking around like a sad sack and you know, say, girl, you know what? See, you know you be need to be out here with us. All right. Look at you. Come on. That's putting a bad reproach on God's life. Amen. On, on holiness. Amen. Did y'all know that putting bad Amen. reproach on holiness? Come on. It's got you looking like this, like See? head all down and whatnot. Like God can't help you. Right, right. You got to smile sometimes when you don't feel like smiling. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Oh. Uh, Amen. Let's go to Hebrews 10, 26 and 31. All these scriptures, what's the point of doing what you're doing? What's the purpose? Where are you trying to get to? Mm -hmm. right. Heaven mm -hmm. or hell? I also had down here, I said it made me feel good, it was pleasurable, and found out later that it was to no avail. Mm -hmm. It was wrong, 
it was harmful, it was not proper, prosperous to my soul. Right, right. It might have been to your flesh, uh-huh. but not for your soul. Right. Right. And bring them to, and it'll bring you, some things will bring you to an open shame. Amen. The devil will bring you to an open oh, shame. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you done turned from God. Now he done busted you, they call, busted you out. Yes. Brought you to an open shame. See that girl? See, I know you should have stayed in the church. They don't want to help get you out of there. Now they say you should have stayed in church. Amen. That's an open shame. Yes, it is. I wouldn't want nobody to say that to me. All right, now. Matter of fact, I had somebody that say that to me. I'm, I'm telling you, I've had some experiences. Before I got married, I went over to this, I was supposed to have been saved, on the bus, on my way to church, y'all. Listen to what I'm saying. On the bus, on my way to church. All of a sudden, the place I was getting ready to pass by, I knew a girl that uh, used to go to our church, lived in that block. And it came to my mind, I said, man, you ought to go by there and see her. Mm-hmm. I said, me nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I was going to be going to church now. Right. And the devil had me detouring. I pulled the thing and got off the bus. <laughs> I'm telling you through experience. Mm-hmm. Got off the bus. I wasn't even engaged then. Got off the bus. Walked down the block. Rang the doorbell. Is so-and-so home? Yeah. They were so surprised to see me because they knew I, I was supposed to be saved. Mm-hmm. Did y'all hear that? Mm-hmm. She, they came and they sat on the couch. And I'm sitting there and looking at them. And old thoughts coming back. Girl, old girlfriend. And so I sat there and I said, let's go for a walk. Wasn't nothing wrong with going for a walk. But going for a walk, and I'm gonna tell you why, because I shouldn't have went for the walk. Amen. I'm thinking I'm gonna be strong, whatever. They followed me. We walked down the street. Then we stopped in this by this building, in the doorway. Now I'm standing up there. The devil just talking to my mind, just things that she began to start looking good to me. All of a sudden, I wanted to kiss her. And she went, what? I thought you were supposed to be saved. That stopped me right in my track. That brought me to an open shame. Mm-hmm. Here I am supposed to be saved. The last time she saw me, I was saved. Now I'm coming here, I ain't acting like I'm saved. Mm-hmm. Brought me to an open shame. You know what? I took that girl back home, dropped her off, and never went back since. Amen. God will bring you to an open yes, shame. He will. Yes, He will. I'm telling you through experience. Yes, he will. You think you're going to have such a good time. God will bring you to an open shame. All right now. This is what you thought was going to happen, but this is what happened. See? Yes, Lord, I'm a witness. Got you thinking you're going to make it good. Right. You're going to do right. it good. You're gonna, and all of a sudden, they find you with a bottle in your hand and you on the streets. Come on. Open shame. You gave up the pleasures of God. Yes. I'm talking to somebody. Yes. Amen. To serve the devil. Yes. And he's bringing you to an open shame. Yes. He Amen. know exactly when to do it. Come on now. When you are real vulnerable. Yes. Amen. What was the point? My God. The point was you was trying to have a few a little pleasure at that at that at that time. But the devil turned the tables on me. Amen. She turned the tables on me. See? Man, I was glad I dropped off. Whew. Amen. I got on, I got her back on the bus. I still went to church, but I, I repented. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, and I have not did it since. Amen. Because, you know, I kept thinking about being brought to an open yeah, shame. Amen. What kind of example was I to her? Right, right. Right. Sometimes Amen. you don't know people that are willing, willing to come to God because of your life. Right. And be, then you start saying things and doing things, then they don't want God. They bring you to an open shame. I right. thought you said you were saved. Right. Amen. Amen. Come I on, thought. Man. Come on. God knows how to bring, yes, bring you to an open does. shame. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Amen. How many know I'm right about it? Oh, yes, you are. You're right. Amen. Amen. The Amen. devil will bring you to an open come shame. Come on now. 
I had to say that. I, I, right. I try to use my experiences so somebody can sit down and think. Come on. Why are you doing what you're doing? You know, I got off the bus because I thought I was going to be doing, you know, still be strong. You know, just meeting a friend. We used to go to church together. And just being there, what was wrong with it? See, the devil tell you what's wrong right, with it. Right, right. But he, he didn't tell me it was gonna, my flesh was going to get stirred up. He don't tell you your end. He don't tell you your demise. Right. He don't tell you what's going to happen. Come on now. Amen. And then boom! <laughs> it happens. Yes, yes. Amen. Can we keep going? Oh, yes. We'll read that. If we sin willfully, what? For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. So what's the point? Why leave God? If we sin willfully, that well, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. So what God did for you is to no avail. Right. You done lost it. Amen. Amen. There remaineth no sacrifice for Come your on. sins. Come for on. you. Amen. Uh-huh. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. You know, didn't the Bible say don't put fire in your bosom? Mm -hmm. Because if you put fire in your bosom, you're going to be what? You're going to be burned. Don't play with the devil. Yes. I'm telling you, don't play with the devil. Amen. Don't, you know what? Don't think you're strong and you, and you find out you're not strong. All right. But a, but a certain fearful looking of judgment, and this is what you're going to get. This yes. Is, this is what you're going to end up getting. Amen. Willfully. If we sin willfully. Willfully. Did you hear that? Willfully. Because sometimes you might do something wrong, and you didn't really mean to do it. It just happened so fast. Mm -hmm. But you say, God, forgive me. Mm -hmm. You don't keep doing that every day. Right, right. Amen. God, if I had known right then and there, I wouldn't have done this. Right. So, God, I'm sorry. Help me for the next Amen. time. Amen. You got you to gotta repent every, Saturday, every Sunday, every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, Come every day. Uh -uh. You need to be saved. All right now. Amen. All you have to do is repent. Repenting is that you have to be sincere. Right. When it comes right. down to God. Amen. And Amen. meaning it. Amen. Uh-huh. But a, he, what? but a certain 27. Okay. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversary. That's what you're going to come, that's what you're going to come and play with. Yes, yes. Amen. That's what you're going to have to look for. Yes. When you turn from God, look for that. Just say, right. hey. <laughs> I'm looking to go to hell. Amen. Amen. That's the way. Uh, that's hey. the bottom line. That's just the bottom See? line. Amen. What a fearful! He's telling you in the word. Come looking on. for a fearful looking. Yes. It's already. There remaining no more sacrifice for you. What I did for you is to no avail. You didn't. You didn't take advantage of it. You, you understand what I'm saying? Amen. But look for this: a fiery indignation which shall devour the adversary. That's anybody. Amen. That's sinning against God. Uh huh. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Whatever was written for a time written for was written for our Lord. Amen. Even during Moses' time, they didn't have no mercy. Amen. If they didn't obey the law, they despised the law, they died without yes, mercy. They did. Without mercy. Amen. Amen. I don't care how many times you said, God have mercy. God have mercy. You'll die. Keep saying, God have mercy. Mm -hmm. Because God it gave up on you. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Of how much sore punishment Look at suppose that. ye shall he be thought worthy who have trodden underfoot the Son of God and have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing and have done despite unto the Spirit of grace. How much sore punishment you're gonna have a greater punishment amen a greater because you know hallelujah 
I'm trying to give you something to think about. Yeah. How much sore punishment suppose ye shall he be thought worthy? Mm -hmm. You go out there and sin, I don't care how there's a little bit of sin. It's going to be great for you against yes, you. Yes, yes, amen. Where, where he was sanctified and, un, and a holy thing and has done despite unto the spirit of grace. Mm, mm, mm. To God. God. Take advantage of God's grace. Amen, amen. And mercy. Don't take God for granted. That's right. Amen. What did it say in 30th verse? For we know him uh -huh. that hath said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. Uh -huh. I will recompense, saith the Lord. God is saying this. Vengeance belongeth to me, and I will rec recompense, saith the Lord. And again the Lord shall judge what? His people. Don't you know all souls are God? Amen. What he do with it, he has the right. Yes, he does. Just like if you go and buy something. Say, for instance, if you died, you, you bought, a, I'm just using this as an example. If you bought and bought a dial, you know, you bought it, it's yours. So if you want to take the head off of it, you bought it. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You bought it. You want to take the feet off of it. I'm not telling you to do that, but I'm just saying, you bought it. I mean... So you have control over that. Yes. So God is the one that brought us into this world. Yes, he did. So we have to answer to him. Yes. Amen. So if he said you're going to hell and he made, he didn't make it for the righteous. He made it for the unrighteous. So if that, that was your choice, though, he ain't just sending you to hell because he want, want to send you to hell. Right. Because right. he's giving you a chance to live the life amen. so you won't go to hell. Amen. Amen. Do, do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. So, you know, it's not like God, I'm, well, I'm going to send them to hell, you know, I don't like that. No, 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 no. Like we do, you know. No, no, no. Well, I don't like it, so I just, no, God doesn't do it just like that. Amen. He gives you a chance. He yes, warns he you. Yes, he, he tells does. you. He talks to you. Just like he's talking to you, to you amen, right now. Amen, amen. He warning you. Right. Choose you this day. Amen. But if you despise what he's trying to do. Come on. You're going to read the comp. What is that? Reap the consequences. You're going to reap the consequences. Whose fault is it then? God. Can't blame it on God. Nope. He already warned you. Amen. It's in your Bible. Read your Bible. Yes. Read your Bible. We try to talk to you and tell you every day. Yes. See, that's the point. People are always putting folks in hell. I ain't putting you nowhere. See? You can't. I'm just preaching. I can't put Amen. you in hell. I don't have that authority. That's, that's God's right. authority. Oh, yes, Lord. Amen. Am, am Amen. I right about it? Yes, you are. I cannot send nobody to hell. Amen. You send yourself to hell. That's right. You did it. Amen. You were the reason why you didn't get the education. Come on. You were the reason why you didn't get the job because you didn't get up like you were supposed to and go to work. See? You the reason. Stop blaming it on everybody else. Right, right. If God had it did so and so, so and so, if God had it did so and so, God ain't coming down to you. Right. Come on. You got to come up to him. Hello. Say it now. Amen. Come on now. Write about it. I think it. if God would have did it, he would have made it easier for us. Then, you know, a lot of us have been saved. Come on. He said his yoke was easy. Didn't he say that? Yes, he did. He said my yoke is easy and my burden is what? Light. Didn't you believe that? Amen. Even though it might be heavy on you, but God will help you carry the load. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. You, you turn it over to I him, you make yes, the burdens will. light. Yes, he will. Easy. Amen. Even though you're feeling it still, I can do this. I can do this. With the help of God. Yes. That's going to, then I'm going to. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Did you hear that? No, they didn't hear that. They didn't hear that, man. Evangel, <laughs> can you say that a little louder? It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. God's not dead. No. He's yet alive. He's yet alive. Amen. He's very much alive. Yes, he is. It is a fearful. Fearful. Terrible. Yes. Threatening. Thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Then say falling into the hands of Bishop Mitchell. All right. 
or Bishop Willis. Come on. Or Minister Frazier. All right. You ain't got to be scared of me. All right now. Come on. I ain't got no heaven or hell to put you in. All right. I'm Amen. trying to get there myself. See? Amen. Think about it. Amen. Where you going? I wrote a song. Oh, yeah. And it goes like, where will you spend eternity? Where will you spend eternity? Will it be in heaven above or lost in hell without God's love? Where will you spend? Where will you spend eternity? Amen. Think about that. Oh, God. Think about that. Where will you spend eternity? Where will you spend eternity? Will it be in heaven above or lost in hell without God's love? Where will you spend? Where will you spend eternity? Hallelujah. That's a good song. Yes, it is. God gave me that song. Amen. It's copyrighted, Amen. too. <laughs> Where will you spend? I had to say that. It's copyrighted. Where will you spend eternity? Devil don't want you to think Amen. about that. All right. Amen. Come on. Where will you spend it? If you don't give God your life, where will you spend eternity? Eternity. If Amen. you give up on God and throw in the towel, where will you spend eternity? Amen. I love that song. Amen. Amen. Oh, gracious Father, we thank you today. We thank you for the word that you have given us and put in our hearts. And we're asking you right now that you touch the hearers, oh God. Them that have heard your word and God, we're hoping that they receive it in their hearts and in their minds. Oh, God, those, oh, God, that had the mind to turn, oh, God, that they have a change of mind to continue in the way that you want them to go, oh, God. A righteous and holy sons and daughters of God, oh, God. Living the life, amen, that, they, that you want them to live, oh, God. Oh, God, amen. Resisting the devil, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, oh, God. Move right now. Move by your power, God. Give strength, oh, God. To them that are weak, oh God. You can make them strong right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Realize it, that if they turn from you, they have lost eternal life. What's the point? To give the world your life and then lose. What profit you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? What's the point? God bless you. Pray for us Amen. as we pray for you. Give God a victory and pray. Oh, my brother.